Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll take a look at how we can create the RGB motion blur effect seen at the start of this video. All this can be done right in Final Cut Pro without having to download or install any plugins. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is make three copies of your clip and layer them above each other. Select your clip in the timeline, hold down the option key and drag up to make a copy of it. Do this twice. To get the RGB effect, we'll have to isolate the three primary colors in each one of these clips, red, green and blue. Select your top clip, open the inspector and select the color inspector. From the drop down menu, select color curves. For our top clip, we'll remove the green and the blue channels and leave just the red channel. To remove the green channel, scroll down to the green channel curve and grab the control point in the top right corner and drag it all the way down. Repeat this for the blue channel. Also, at the bottom, deselect the Preserve Luma checkbox. What you're left with is just the red color channel, so everything in your clip should be red. Let's move on to the next clip. To make your middle clip visible, with your top clip selected, press V to disable it. Select the middle clip, and once again, in the color inspector, from the drop down menu, select color curves. For this clip, we'll isolate the green channel. Grab the control point in the red channel curve and drag it all the way down. Do the same for the blue channel curve and don't forget to deselect the Preserve Luma checkbox. Press V to disable this clip and repeat the same steps for your bottom clip, isolating the blue channel. Select and re-enable your two top clips. By default, in Final Cut Pro, only the top layer is visible, so what we see is just a clip with a red color channel. For our next step, we need to combine the color information of all three clips. Go back to the video inspector and from the blend mode drop down menu, select add. What this does is add the pixel color values of the selected clip to the clip under it. Select the middle clip and also change its blend mode to add. With the color information of all three clips added together, we're back to our original clip. Now to add the RGB motion blur effect, we need to stagger these clips. Move your playhead to the start of your clip and move forward about 5 frames by hitting the right arrow key 5 times. Grab your middle clip and snap the start of it to your playhead. Move ahead 5 frames and snap your top clip to your playhead. Hit spacebar to play your clip and see what it looks like. Depending on the motion and the speed in your clips, you might want to stagger your clips further apart or closer together, whatever looks better. Once you're happy with your results, ripple trim your clips so they all have the same start and end points. Command click all three clips and press option G to combine them all into one compound clip just to make it easier to work with. Let's try this with one more clip, but this time instead of staggering the clips, we'll use the transform tool to make each clip a slightly different size. Just like before, make three copies of your clip layer them above each other and isolate a different color channel for each clip. Change the blend mode of your top two clips to add. Next, select your top clip and in the video inspector, change the scale all value to about 108%. Select the middle clip and change the scale to about 104. Leave the bottom clip at 100%. This is what we end up with. A nice, subtle effect only visible around the edges of your subject. And just like before, depending on your clip, play around with the scale amounts for a more subtle or prominent look. While this effect does work on color clips, you will get best results if you apply it to black and white clips. You can also further customize it by playing around with different parameters such as timing, size, position and more to make each clip a little different from the others. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button and checking out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. New videos uploaded every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next week.